other question. There was this time that I went into my appointment and we were all just getting along just fine. Everything was great. And then the next time I go into the appointment again and then they find out that I'm actually without a home. I've been without a home now for about two years for one reason or another. The main reason is that I don't make $9,000 a month. So it's hard to get qualified for something when rent is $3,000 to $3,300. And they want you to make two and a half times to three times the amount of money. I've mentioned that in a previous post. So then now all of a sudden, every time I come into my appointment after that, it's like there's a whole different vibe there. It's like, why do we treat different people differently when they don't have a home to call home? I mean, I still have a place to lay my head at night, thank God. And it costs more than what I would be paying in a two bedroom. It makes no sense, really. If I can show that I've been paying it for two years, then why can't I pay it to a landlord? I paid my rent all through COVID. I never missed a month. I've never missed a month of my rent since I was old enough to pay rent. And here there are, there's people out there who camping out in people's properties and they're not even paying the rent or they owe them $100,000 back pay and they're still sitting there. And here we are. On that note, if you know of anyone who's looking to rent out a space or they want to do a rent to own situation or if there's land where I can maybe rent a part of their land out, that would be great. Even if there's a bunch of people who want to like get land together and we could build a little community together, that would be great. I'm down. Anyways, it's just a question. We shouldn't treat people different just because they've signed a lease or a mortgage or something, you know? Anyway, take care. Make it a great day. There's something in every day that can make it great if we just are willing to see it. Bye.